Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about what's going on here at the farm as we get ready for 2020's grow season. But first, if you wouldn't mind, please consider subscribing to our channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And for those of you that have already subscribed, thank you very much. If you wouldn't mind, please give the video a big thumbs up to show your support. So folks, this week uh, I want to say thank you again to all the YouTube supporters that put in orders. Uh, it has been uh, really awesome to see all the support for our farm. Uh, it's mostly coming from YouTube, almost all of our orders are solely YouTube at this point. A few uh, local orders, but for the most part, uh, everything is coming from YouTube. So thank you guys. And uh, thank you to all the YouTube subscribers. This week, big milestone for our channel. We surpassed our former number one social media platform, Instagram. And now YouTube is our number one platform. So uh, thank you to all our subscribers here at YouTube. Uh, we have surpassed the 2000 mark. And we are just cruising uh, past that and, and heading to 2100 as I make this video. So thank you guys for all the support. I do appreciate it. Uh, and, you know, as far as the orders go, just keep them coming, guys. I do appreciate the support for our farm. And you know how to order. I'll leave all that information down in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. But this week, guys, it has been another warm one here in Virginia, and today I'm wearing a t-shirt. Uh, it's 70 degrees, man. It has just been a warm, mild winter, and no complaints from me, although I do like a snowstorm every now and then. Uh, but that's bad news for our walnut tree project. Um, Walnut trees, just like maples, require uh, below freezing at night and then just above freezing during the day to produce sap. And they're just not producing sap. Our second week of collection has been the best so far. And it has been a steady decline uh, to, to just absolutely nothing really this week. Uh, nothing noteworthy. Uh, we didn't even boil any of the sap. Uh, just refrigerated what we got. But it has been pretty poor showing this week. Um, so that project, eh, it's kind of on uh, rocky ground as far as anything we'll do in the future. Uh, but we had to try it. We had to give it a shot as another avenue for our farm. Um, at least we can make our own walnut syrup for our own pancakes here. But uh, in other stuff, you know, Virginia senators and hemp news, um, Virginia senators came out and supported our Virginia hemp plan that was submitted to USDA and encouraged them to approve the plan so we can get moving here in Virginia. And I fully agree with it. Although the 0.6 that Virginia isn't exactly what I wanted, I will take it as a happy median between the 1% uh, and the 0.3. So I will take it. It's better than what some states are doing right now, like our friends in Maryland who are not going to have any leniency. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the point six. At least Virginia's giving us a little leeway. Um, but as far as everything else goes here at the farm, the only thing that we're doing this week is we are putting some amendments in. I'm going to bring you over to the grow area and show you what we're putting in. Uh, it's pretty much just some more wood ash from the wood stove and some lime. I did make the order this week to get the uh, potash and uh, the gypsum for calcium. Uh, for the grow area and quite honestly guys I've kind of missed the boat on this one I really should have been putting this stuff in last month so I'm kind of uh, behind it slipped my mind it was one of those things that was on the to-do list that just kind of kept getting looked over and next thing you know uh, it was February and it's like wow we were only five to six weeks away from putting down the plastic mulch and getting ready to put plants in the ground uh, so yeah, we, we definitely need to get moving here. So we did make the order. It should be here next week. But right now we're going to put the lime down and some more wood ash, which can't hurt. And you see that big uh, bonfire pile behind me? That'll add some wood ash. That's on the to-do list too. So hopefully we'll be getting to that soon. But today we're going to head over to the grow area. I'm going to show you what we're adding and we're going to add it to the grow area. So let's get right to it. All right, so here is the grow area still very turned over from when we cultivated it a couple weeks ago. Uh, here is a pile of wood ash and here's the 80 pounds of lime. Now this is just about what we need. We could use probably another 20 pounds. I think it was recommended we did 100 um, but we're going to go with 80 because they only sell it in 40 pound bags um, and I don't want to really want to go over. I'd rather kind of go under and maybe just add a little bit more next year. So we're going to add 80 pounds to this grow area. 
what I typically like to do is cut the corner and just kind of walk up and down uh, the rows here where I kind of like just get it spread out. The great thing is we've got some rain coming so that'll flatten it out and then we'll cultivate it again. Then we'll probably add the potash and the gypsum after that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go add all this stuff to the grow area. Okay, so here is the lime all spread in the grow area. Now as you can see, it gets a little bit on your sneakers or your boots. Don't worry about it, not a big deal. So we evenly distribute it as best I can through the grow area. And so now with the rain, this will all soak in and then we'll cultivate it into the soil. And then we'll go ahead and add our other amendments. But this is what it looks like. Real easy, non-toxic, no chemicals, just regular old lime, which is pulverized. Well folks, that's all I have for today. I know it's been kind of a slow week here, but really the groundwork is being laid to really start getting ready for grow season. Uh, you know, as you saw, we added the lime and the wood ash, and uh, you know, next is, is getting the other amendments in there and then tilling it up and then getting the plastic down and getting all that squared up. Uh, we will be popping some seeds very, very soon, uh, probably within the next two to three weeks. And uh, clones, they are actually probably going to start actually sooner uh, because I actually have some uh, plans for some clones I want to try. So that will be coming in the next few weeks. Uh, we will be getting our cloner uh, ready to go. Uh, I'll be doing a review on our Turbo Cloner that we got from our friends at Turbo Clone. Although I don't know if I'll be using the big one right yet, but we will soon. If you guys have any questions or you're interested in ordering, just feel free to send me an email. That information will be in the description below. You can always find me on Instagram and Facebook, although we, our home is now right here at YouTube. This is our number one social media platform now. And again, thank you to all the subscribers. Here's to another 2,000 folks. Um, but that's all I have for you. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the channel and checking out the video today. And I will see you in another video soon. Take care.